So that, that game could have gone either way. Just happy it went my way. Okay. Black. Let's play Catalan check. Okay. Bishop D2. You know what? Let's take on D2. I, I've seen Magnus play this line a few times in the past and uh, tends to get a very solid position. I B D7, C6, B6, whatever. Yeah, one of these weird little moves on knight a3. I don't even know what the knight is doing here. The knight on a3 looks awfully bad, but players make it work. I don't know what the guy is doing there, whatever. b6, cd5, cd5, knight b5. Bishop a6. Yeah, I don't, I think b3 was a little slow. He should take on d5 and then cd5 and then probably play knight b5, I think. Just my opinion. But now he has to spend uh, some moves activating this uh, knight on e3. No, can I have knight g4 here or something? Knight g4, knight c2, queen c5, e3. Yeah, I'll play it anyway. Uh, just because I'm threatening to take on e5, so he has to. And his knight on a3 is going to be unprotected, so he has to play knight c2. Knight c2, and then I probably have to play f6. He takes f6, rook takes f6. Whoa, what's this? This looks awfully bad for what? Bishop f3, knight e3. I'm very confused. Yeah, but because his knight on a3 is misplaced, he can't really move his queen to d2 or to d4. So black should be better. Okay. Black should be better, but that's it. Rook e8. Check, check, king g2. But in the blitz game, having a better position doesn't mean anything usually. Rook D1. Now what? Rook F7? Rook D6. Let's play Rook D6. And then Queen Rook D3, Queen E7. Rook d3, queen e7. Then I play d4. And uh, what's problem is he's got this backward, backward uh, e pawn. So what happened? Did you get disconnected? Rook d3, queen e7, e3, b4. He takes b4. E3, D4, he takes D4. Black, white looks totally fine there. Or maybe not. Here, B1. What, B4, E4? It's hard to believe that would work. Yeah, what? The? Oh, he has this move, huh? K 
taking F2 seriously. Now I think he'll just take on F3 and then I play Rook D3. No. Okay, let's get back check. Rook takes. If rook e3, I have queen h1. But he has to play rook e3 because if king e3, I have rook e6 check. So he has to play rook e3, queen h1. And I have no idea if uh, white has a saving sequence here. Yeah, rook e2, check, check again. King e4, queen g3. Yeah, I didn't expect Sam to keep playing the, the Catalan. Okay, so I'm leading by two. Wait, is Lilia here? Oh, yeah. oh thank you. I will play the last. Oh, so we're not going to play the rest. Okay. My course on chessable, the feature random. The what? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, after winning the World Championship 960 match with Magnus last year, uh, we got contacted by uh, people from Chessable and Magnus Manager uh, to do a course about the about my experiences in the Fisher Random. So, uh, so, so I did the course actually about the, about my games in Fisher Random and also talk about some tips and also some generalization and also some ideas how to play Chess 960. Uh, the thing with Chess 960 is that uh, Everyone who plays it likes it. The, the concept of the game is still completely the same, except there's no theory. So it's a very fun game to play, actually, and anyone can play it uh, at all levels. And uh, it increases your, your skill and uh, your imagination and your tactics because you're less reliant on opening theory, but you're more reliant on... Uh, on your understanding and about the places and the pieces and stuff. So I did a course on that and uh, check it out. Hopefully you like it. Uh, and I'm also doing a, a lifetime repair tour with white with the first move one E4. So that hasn't come out yet, but, uh, but all the files are basically ready i've uh, done a lot of work so that lifetime e4 pair tour is a two course work uh the first one deals about anything else besides e4 e5 in the sicilian and uh, it talks a little bit about the Karakan, the french and stuff and i'm very pleased with the lines that i recommended there uh as i said all the files have been compiled i just have to do the video work and stuff uh so so yeah uh i i hope you like my course and uh it should come the e4 one should come out sooner or later and uh, i know there are a lot of courses out there that uh black that gives black an opening repertoire against one e4 you have anish with the french you have uh, Jan Gustafsson with one E4, E5, and then you have some Sicilian courses also, and you have the Karakan, the Erwin Lamy. Uh, 
but uh, and I can't guarantee an advantage against every single one of them. But uh, my repertoire is based on having similar pawn structures and the like, so you'll you'll get a very easy to play position. So yeah. Okay, thank you and con congratulations again. I guess we will be seeing you very soon for the next match. The next match. Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to thank Chess24 also for inviting me and also for my opponent, Sam Shanklin, for uh, putting up a very tough match in Kavgan. I did. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, perfect. We are offline. And yeah, I guess we will be coordinating for the next match. And congratulations. Have a great day. Thank you.